you said this before you came here, you said, I will go and I will, I would listen to that for inspiration. I keep forgetting it. And I'm just like in this, like, what did I say? Like, what did I say I was going to do before he came here? Like, what, what did I say? <laughs> you said, you said, I'll go forward into my physical experience and I will remember that the larger part of me remains non-physically focused. Yeah. And I will look around the environment and I will see, the, see things wanted and unwanted and it will help me hone a clear understanding moment by moment of what I most prefer. And then I will focus in the direction of my preference until I accomplish vibrational alignment with my own inner being. And when I do that, my inner being who knows the fullness of what I'm asking for and knows the path of least resistance for me to get there will Will feed to me moment by moment in real time ideas and impulses that will lead me joyfully along the path to the full unfolding of what I want. That's what you said. Yeah. I love it. I love it. You also said, and each time that happens, I will stand in a new place with new manifestations and also a whole new set of contrasting experiences which will give birth to another good idea. And as that other good idea comes, my inner being will hold steady on that good idea. And I might be waving about, wavery about it, but I will seek the feeling of satisfaction that my inner being is feeling as my inner being focuses upon it. And as I tune into that feeling of satisfaction, I will come into full alignment. And once again, I will be in that place of receiving impulses and ideas so that I will not only be the creator, step one, I will be the receiver, step three. But the most important exciting part of being physical is that then I will get to, in concert with my inner being, witness the deliberate and gentle and delicious unfolding of each and everything that I ask for. And in that, in that experience, I will eventually come into full feeling of worthiness. I will come to expect that good things are supposed to come to me. I will come to know that life is supposed to be fun. I will come to know that I'm supposed to feel good. Struggle will be a part of my past, and ease and flow will be a part of my eternally unfolding future experience. Yeah. I will be a shining light under the world. Yeah. I will live such ease and grace and joy that others will see me, and they will know from what they see that I've figured some things out. And when they ask me, how is it that you are so joyful? And how is it that so many things come to you with such ease? And I will say to them, you said you knew. I just get into the receiving mode. I care about being satisfied. I go with the flow. I chill out. I push against nothing. I seek love. I move in the direction of what feels good. I find what feels good. I maintain that balance by my attention and focus. I care about how I feel until I have mastered alignment with source energy so that I continue to be a radiating light of source energy wherever I go. And then those like you who are really the same as me, who are wanting to figure out how to tune into that frequency, I maybe sometimes make it a little easier for you to tune in because I'm tuned in. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what you said. And then you said. I said a lot. <laughs> oh, your vortex is so full of what you said. <laughs> your vortex is so full of your intentions for happy living and happy guidance and happy uplifting and happy life. Yeah. Then you said, and most important, I will figure it out as I go. There's not anything that I'm supposed to do. There's not anything that's been assigned to me. I get to choose. I'm so free, I can choose bondage. And expansion is inevitable. And so my goal is joy. That's what you said. <laughs> 